Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. So now we're going to do a how to play and playthrough of Clank Catacombs, which is for uh, two to four players. It takes about 45 to 90 minutes and it's ages 13 and up. Now younger uh, experienced gamers can play this if you're used to deck building games uh, because they use that age level mm. for regulation purposes. Now this version will work with the previous Renegade versions. Renegade was helping Direwolf publishing games for them. Now Direwolf is publishing it on their own. Uh, so if you haven't seen Catacombs before, it's a deck building game. It's a race game because you're trying to be the first thief to get an artifact, get out of the dungeon uh, before the dragon wakes up and damages you. So you have a health track here. It, you will lose if your health track goes to zero. Well, if you get how much damage? Here? Three, six, ten damage. Mm -hmm. So if you get take ten, ten damage and you're still in the depths, that's these tiles here that are uh, more darker blue. If you take ten damage and you're down in the depths, you will lose. If you have an artifact, at least, so you're in these purple tiles, the safe areas, and you will still uh, be able to gain points, uh, but you won't get the bonus 20. If you manage to get an artifact, which will only be found in the depths here, these are tiles that are going to be laid out. If you go, go in there and get an artifact, get out to the place, uh, the crypt here, where we came from, you'll get a bonus 20. Now, you don't have to get these bonus 20 points because what can happen is one person gets out with their artifact and gets this bonus tile. The other players might perish in the, uh, well, they get knocked out. They don't die. They get knocked out in the safe area. If they have an artifact, they can still count their points, but they won't have that plus 20. And like I said, it's if you lose 10 damage, if you take 10 damage, it doesn't matter if you have an artifact or not. If you get knocked out in the depths, you lose the game. Now, there's two other ways to lose a game that is new to this uh, edition. If the dragon, and this is how, how you take damage, you're going to be drawing out of, out of this bag, and black cubes represent the dragon waking up, getting mad that you're trying to take the dragon's treasure, and you'll have some of your cubes in here because you're making noise as a thief. And this, these, your cubes represent your life, but also the noise you make. So if your cubes are drawn out of the bag, you take damage. Uh, but at any time if the bag becomes empty, there's no cubes to draw, the game is over for everybody. If also the draw deck of, you'll see there are items to get here with skill and there's monsters to fight. If this deck runs out and you can't draw anymore, you also lose. So those are two new rules to this edition. So for those of you who have uh, played the game before. I'm going to go over what's different first and then I'm going to go into how to set it, set it up and go th through the turn sequence. Because some people already know how to play and you're just going to want to know what's different. Okay, so first off, the biggest thing is you have tiles now, not a static board. And on these, and there are two different colors of tiles. There are six of the save tiles. Remember that's where if you get knocked out, you take 10 damage and you have an artifact, you're still won't, you won't lose the game, but you won't get that 20 uh, bonus points. So there's six of these, and there's a start tile here, and there's one half of it is a safe area. You take out two randomly. Okay, so you're going to put that on top of the deck. But let's take a look what else is uh, different on these tiles here. I'm trying to remember the name of the, okay, Way Shrines. Okay, so you have something new called Way Shrines. It's just a way to get more gold. So when this pops up and you go in the room, you can, uh, you'll, you'll place one of your cubes there and you get one gold for it. And then if you, and if you find another one later on in the dungeon, you'll place another cube and you'll get two gold. So for every way shrine that you have visited, you, keep tr you, you mark which ones you have and you put your cubes on it and you'll get more gold. So you can get up to four gold, I think three or four gold with that. Now here you'll see here's a portal because uh, in the other catacomb maps, you know you have wraparounds, but here you don't. But you can use portals to jump to other parts of the dungeon and it's treated as one, the same space. So if I go to a, this portal, I can go to another portal, it's considered one move. Here's where you can get artifacts. Now the artifacts are not placed out ahead of time. Uh, instead, you're gonna make a stack from lowest to highest. So here's the five, the seven, the 10, 12, 15, and 17. Oh, why? Oh, and the, and the 20. 
So there's seven of these. You're going to stack them up in order. Now, why does that matter? Because you can find artifact tiles where you can, you don't have to place the one on top. You can go two below the stack. So let's say that's the first tile we find. You don't, play, you don't have to place the five. You can place the 10 there because it's two below. Uh, so, but, so you look at the stack here. Okay. And that one's revealed. Instead of placing the five and the seven, you place the 10 there, but then you put the five and seven back on top. So that's one way to, to find more valuable artifacts if you find those zones. Now you still have crystal caves that can do different things, but you'll see here you have, now we have lock picks. So this chest requires us to use a lock pick. So this game now introduces some resource management. We start out with three lock picks, and this is what they look like. And you can get more as the game plays on. So if I want to open that chest, I got to pick the lock, because you know, we're thieves, right? Going in here, you pick it, and now it can't be used again. And that's how we get a major, I'm trying to get this to, I'll just <laughs> do it like this. You're trying to get a, uh, if I can get this to line up here, here we go. You're trying to get a, uh, <coughs> That's how you get major secrets. And when this runs out, there's no more left. So you have to pick chests to get those. Uh, this is where you get, you know, minor secrets as normal. You flip it up. And this means that you can go back to this room on a different turn and get another one. And so you only have as many minor secrets as, as the draw pile here. There's also prisoners that you can get. So if you un if you use one of your uh, lock picks, you can get two prisoners. And prisoners are, are all, I think they're all good things. And they, they increase your scores and give you some abilities. And so when we reveal them, we'll uh, go over them uh, when we reveal them. So that's another new thing here you can find in the catacombs are prisoners. Okay, oh, wrong camera. Uh, what's another one? Okay, so ghosts. Here's a new foe. When this tile flips up, you'll, you'll see those five white cubes off to the side. Uh, by the way, before I explain that, here's a tome. You can pick that lock and get a secret tome, which is worth seven points at the end of the game. Okay, Because if, if more than one player gets out, then you're comparing points, you know, if you survive. And so whoever has the most points wins. But ghosts will come up, and so now, there's five tiles with ghosts, and you'll place it here. Oops, mm -hmm. I just messed up my stack. If you can stack that. I sure place. will. Uh, if that tile comes up, the ghost will go here in the clank area. And then when the dragon attacks, you'll put it in the draw bag. And when a ghost cube is, draw is drawn, everybody takes a damage. Now, there's some cards you can get to resist that damage. Here's the thing, though. Everybody will take one damage. And then it goes back here in the clank area for it to be put back in the bag. So ghosts are not destroyed, as far as I know, unless there's some card that does that that we haven't found yet. Uh, let's see if there's anything else here to go over. Uh, you know, you have your typical... Uh, now with, with locks, there's no key master treasure anymore. You have to use locks, lock picks to lock them, and then they become locked forever for the entire game. So if Julie lo uh, picks that one, I can go that way too. Uh, and Julia can use it again because the lock has been picked. Uh, the arrows? The arrows. Oh, yeah, you still have one-way passages. Okay, that's, that's the same thing. All right, uh, let's take a look at the treasure here. You have some duplicates here. It usually cost seven treasure. Gosh. <laughs> you, you line up the, uh, the crowns. Yeah, I can't do I The camera's not tilted enough. I'm going to have to do it like this. Okay, sweetie. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> uh, you see you have the crowns there that are numbered 10, 10, 9, and 8. They're stacked. So the first one that buys a crown gets it for, it will have 10 points at the end of the game. You'll see here that you still have the, uh, I think it's a backpack. Mm-hmm you can carry a second artifact, because normally you can only get one artifact, just like in the original game. Uh, but if you have a backpack, you can carry two. Here, though, here's a new item here, is a, let's see what is it called, 
the blood amulet. Ooh. You can only get this one if you've already taken, let's see if we can get it in focus here, five damage, that little five there. Mm. And then it heals you too. And it's worth seven points. So you can only get this if you're damaged. And then the last thing is how do you know, you're going to start out with three lock picks. How can you get more? Well, you can buy more uh, lock picks, this lock pick set, and you get two more lock picks. There's also cards that can give you more lock picks. So there are three of the lock pick sets, two backpacks. Is that what it's called? Yeah, backpacks. And three crowns, number 10, 9, and 8. And how many blood amulets? Oh, there are two of those. Two. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, so that's uh, the differences now. So now I'm going to shuffle up all these clank tiles. The depth ones go on the bottom. This is where you'll find artifacts. And once you get an artifact, you can run out and go to the crypt and escape, and you'll be safe <laughs> and get and be able to count up all your points. Now the four safe tiles. Remember, this is where. If you get knocked out on one of these tiles, you still can count your points, but you won't be able to get that bonus 20. The game will end as soon as all players have escaped with an artifact or and or have been knocked out. Okay. So now we're going over how to set up the game here. So now I have stacked all of the clank tiles, the depth tiles on the first uh, below, and the four save tiles on top. Here's the starter tile. Now there is a different side to this. Okay. You still put the three monkey tiles on both sides. Here you have the market square where you can buy things for seven gold, but then sometimes you can get things cheaper. If you, uh, I'm going to move this over here. Okay, honey. This game takes up a lot of space. Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, so you put the three monkey idols there, and you can get more than one, but you got to go in and out. You can't do it on the same turn. Now, that's one of the rules I point out, is that you can't go into the same room and get it on the same turn, you know, you know, go back and forth. You can? You cannot. You cannot, okay. okay. But you can go to that room again on a future turn and grab it. And you can get more than one major secret or minor secret, but they have to be in different rooms. Okay. All right. So here are the, uh, they call this uh, the expertise tokens, I think they're, I'm trying to remember the name of what they're called. Let me, uh, those bonus 20s. Oh. Uh, they're called... Uh, I'm looking on here. Mastery tokens. Okay. There you go. That means you're a master thief because you're able oh. to get out. Okay. And you place your meeples here. Mm -hmm. Now we're both going to be having to go into this room and then to the crystal cave. You still lose your turn, all your, your remaining boots when you go there, but you can use a teleport to continue moving in if you lose all your, bo your boots. You will put all the dragon cubes in here. Okay. I think there's 24. You put them all in here. And when you draw these, that's good. Because uh, you're not <laughs> getting hit. But, but you don't want to run out. Yeah, you don't want to run out. Uh, I think there's 24. Yeah, there's 24 dragon cubes. Okay. So that goes off to the side. Now, whoever goes first has to put three clank in the clank area. Julie's second. She'll put two. If we were playing with three players, that person would put one, and the fourth player can, would put zero. Now, we do get our three uh, lock picks. So if I show on Julie's camera here, gave me those are her three. And we have our... 30 cubes here minus the two that Julie put there. And then we have to put one up here. Uh, no, we don't. Oh, okay. And I have my 30 cubes minus the three because I'm going first. And then we get our, our deck of 10 cards. Everybody gets the same starting deck. You'll see here that Julie gets a burgle, six of those. And these cards, when you use them, because you're going to be drawing five cards each round, um, and you must play all the cards. Unless you can discard one, unless there's a card that says you can discard a card, then you wouldn't play that card. But these cards allow her to get skills, and you'll use these blue icons to buy more cards. For instance, on the right here, this card costs two, this card costs three, this card costs seven. These are always available here until they run out. You can also always attack the goblin with two fight to get one coin. And you can attack multiple goblins. If you had like six fight, you can get, <coughs> defeat the goblin three times and get three coins. By the way, this is an important rule to remember, coins are worth points at the end of the mm -hmm. game. So for every coin that you have unspent, that's worth points. What are worth, what are, what are other things are worth points? Well, the artifacts, uh, basically anything that you see here in green. Uh, so if I move this onto this camera here, 
even these items you buy at the store, the crown's worth 10, that's seven, that's five, and that's two. If you had this artifact, that's worth five. And there'll be cards I'm gonna be showing here that are also worth Sacred tombs uh, worth seven. Yeah, sacred tombs are worth seven, but it clogs up your deck. Yep. Uh, you can't do anything with that tome. Uh, you might, you know, you only draw five cards unless you have cards that allow you to draw more cards. You might draw that and say, oh, no, I have four cards to use. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the Burgles give you a skill to buy more cards. Unfortunately, you, you can stumble, and each one of these stumbles <laughs> gives you, you add a clank to the clank area. And remember, you don't want to have clank in the bag uh, because when you draw it, it's damaged. So that didn't really that show didn't, too yeah, well. No. It was blurry. So it says there, there you add go. a clank. So there are ways to trash cards out of your hand. That means that you uh, play a card to get rid of cards. Or you take an action. There's Sometimes you can take actions to get rid of cards. And those are the ones you're going to want to trash. Mm -hmm. Now the other two that Julie has, or we both have them actually, all players will have these. That's why they're gray. They're starting cards. Sidestep allows you to move one space. And you don't have to use all your boots. This one gives you a skill and allows you to move one space. Notice we don't start with any fight. That's because, as part of setup here, we're going to be revealing six cards here that you can buy. And it also will govern what the, uh, the dragon does. So I want to show you what some of these cards do before I draw the first six. So if you were to buy this card, it costs you five, five skill, and then it goes into your discard pile. Because usually when you get cards, you cannot use them right away. There are some exceptions. So, but when you sh uh, shuffle your discard pile, when you need to draw more, five more cards, this the uh, Brave Hero will be shuffled into your uh, into your draw pile, and then eventually you will get the Brave Hero, and will give two skill, one fight, and one move. But also, it tells you if it's worth it. right now. It's got a question mark for points. That's because it's worth five if you have freed three or more prisoners. And remember. That's that icon on the uh, tiles that you can use to get prisoners. So that's that card. I'm just going over some of the samples. Uh, Riot, for instance, when you acquire it, you free a prisoner. So you got to pay attention to that. When you buy the card, it costs three to get it. And when you do, you get a free prisoner. However, in future turns, when you draw this card and play it, you get plus one clank. And if you have freed three or more prisoners, you may trash a card in your play area or discard pile. So that's really good. That's how you can get rid of some of those uh, uh, cards you don't want. This card gives one fight and one boot to move. Here is a, a, a monster. So monsters you can uh, defeat, and you gotta pay attention if something says arrive. All players get plus one clank. So when the skeleton priest arrives, it makes noise, and all of us have to put a clank. Uh, but if you defeat it, that means you do two fight damage. In other words, you'd have to play this card. If I were to, if I were to play these two cards, I would have two fight there, the two sword symbols, and I could use it, to defeat this priest. If I do, I get, I heal one health. So I would take off one damage cube here. If I wasn't damaged, then I wouldn't get anything for it. So if I did have a damage here, I would just remove it right here. But then okay. you get plus one clank. <laughs> but then you get another clank, okay? So you made noise defeating it. Uh, this one here, you get three boots, but there's a dragon symbol here. That means that any clank that's out you put it in the bag and you draw, uh, and you will draw, which I'll explain how that works in a moment. It's wor it's worth another question mark. It's worth two points for each artifact and each monkey idol you have. So it's the more that you have, the more it's worth. And when you acquire it, you get three boots. So when you buy this card for seven, you get three boots. Then it goes in your discard pile, and then when it shuffles back through and you draw it later and play it, you'll get three boots when you use it. This one is now a special one. This is a, a device, it's purple, that means you buy it and you use it once. So this is a free use. You must spend three coins to use. And if you do, you get you draw two cards. Uh, however, every time the dragon symbol comes up, you pull one cube, you pull plus one cube. So what does that mean? Here we have two, three, uh, clank here. Let's say this was out already. Okay, I'll have another card here. At the end of a player's turn, you're, this is the buy area. There'll be six of these cards here. And we draw, Julie bought a card. 
At the end of our turn, we flip up a new card. This means now the dragon's going to attack. You look here on the board, well, how many cubes are drawn out of the bag? In a two-player game, it starts here. Every artifact we get or dragon egg is going to move up. Eventually, you're going to draw four cubes or five. So when we get two artifacts, it will go up to four. And if one of us got a, if each of us got a dragon egg, it would go up to five. So we can be drawing five cubes every turn. So when a dragon attack comes up, it doesn't matter if there's multiple. So in other words, this is from a previous turn. It was this, we already had drawn it on a previous turn. But let's say Julie bought two cards, and you flip up a dra you flip up a dragon, and you flip up another dragon. You're only going to draw once. So we put these five cubes in here. And we're going to draw three. Okay. And then Julie would draw out of the bag. Nobody took any damage. But we have three red and two blue in there. At some point, we might take damage. So those black cubes do not get put back in the bag unless there's some card that allows you to put black cubes back in the bag. So the whole idea of the black cubes, it increases the odds that... Okay, you just hit your mic. Sorry. Be careful. <laughs> uh, the black cubes increases your odds that you won't draw your uh, one of your cubes to be damaged. So let's say it was a situation like this. We drew out of the bag, and we drew a black, a blue, and a red. The black would stay out. I would take a damage, and Julie would take a damage. And you can heal damage and remove those cubes, and then when you remove the damage, it goes back into your, your supply. But right now, we have none of our cubes in there, but there's 24 dragon cubes in there. Every time a card comes up with a dragon symbol on it, we will draw out of the bag at the end of a player's turn. It doesn't matter how many of these dragon cards are up. However, if there was a card here that said plus draw plus one, instead of drawing what you see here, it would be plus one. So instead of three, it would be four. And unfortunately, if there's multiple of these cards, you can draw even more cubes because they're additive. Now with uh, setup here, you're not when you you shuffle up all the cards here, and then when you uh, draw the first six, you do not do any of the cards that have. You, if you draw a card with a dragon symbol on it, you put it back in the deck. However, any cards that are drawn that say when arrived, we must carry out. So we actually might be adding clank here for these first six cards. You better shuffle well, buddy. Oh, uh, there's enough of it in there. It doesn't matter how well I <laughs> shuffle. Because, you know, that's the push your luck aspect of this game. We mm -hmm. played the uh, twice yesterday, and I really pushed my luck, and I got, I almost had all my cubes in the bag, and I, and I uh, didn't, I basically got knocked out in the depths, and I lost. But Julie still had to get out of the dungeon, and when she got to a safe area, she won. Uh, all right, so let's see. I'm going to draw it here in case I have to shuffle. Okay, sweetie. I only care. See, that one we don't place because it had a dragon symbol. Okay. Another dragon symbol. New ones. Okay, so these two got to shuffle back in. Do you want me to leave those out, sweetie? Not yet. Okay. All right, so I did draw six cards that don't have dragon symbols on it. And then I shuffle the ones that I did draw back in. So remember, you're going you're gonna to replace any cards that are bought. You don't have to buy things with your skill points. Uh, but if you do, you've got to replace them at the end of a player's turn. Now, there are there is no arrive. So there was, if it said arrive, we'd have to carry out the action. So we were, sometimes that can be good, sometimes it can be bad. Usually it's bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is one monster to defeat, a skeleton. And it has one life. It takes one fight to defeat it. And if you do, you get two gold and then one clank. So this is Julie's play area. Now Julie's going to shuffle her five cards and draw five. And I'm going to do the same. I do it my silly way. Yeah. Why don't you do that to, to avoid damaging the cards? Well, I'll also do it because my hands won't work the other right. way. <laughs> so now we're about ready to play. Uh... I'm going to draw my five. Here's my draw pile. I'm going to put my... And you do have to play them all, okay? Unless there's, unless there's a card that says that you can discard something. Now, I do want to point out a few special rules 
in some some areas here that I've marked uh, that I'll point out on what page before we play here. So one rule to, that you may forget because I forgot it the first time I played. I mean, it does say it here. Just make sure that you don't play with all six uh, safe tiles. <laughs> you must you must remove two of the six. Okay, and then I'll show you another. There's there's some rules that you can forget. One thing that's new here is in some versions of the other clank boards, you have to take an artifact when you enter the room. Here you don't. Okay, and it does point it out, but uh, it's worth repeating here. Over here, when you reveal a tile, it must line up. Okay. So this is not allowed. See how it's overlapping two different tiles? And when you're placing it, you can place it in a way that, oh, I need another boot, or I need to get another fight, or I need to use a lock. You can interrupt, you can still place it, interrupt your move to play a card to get that one thing you need. Like if, if you need another boot and you decided to reveal the tile before you played that card, now you see the tile, then you can play the card with the boot to, to go that way. Because you're going to want to rotate, and it could be possible that you don't have any cards or the tile comes up in a way where you can't move, and you, you just basically go a different way. You, you reveal it, but I that would be rare. Okay, so another... I've already mentioned here, here's where it talks about rewards. You can only get a reward from a room once per turn if it's you can't go back and forth and to get another minor uh, reward, minor secret again. Uh, the way Shriers, you cannot mark the same way Shriers twice. Remember, if you put one of your uh, cubes on there, you get one gold. So you just can't visit it more than once. That's why there's space there for four, because if in a four player game, each player could use it. And then I've already mentioned that. If you can't refill the, dun refill the dungeon row with cards, in other words, you've exhausted the deck here, you lose the game. Now this is on uh, page 12 here. You also lose the game if you, there's no cubes in the draw bag uh, when the dragon attacks. Ghosts, this is important to remember, you return any ghost cubes to the clank area. You don't remove, after if a ghost is drawn out of the bag, they can be recycled again. Again, these are just little minor rules that can be forgotten that would have been useful to have in a F, you know, easily forgotten rules section. <laughs> All right, so now we're ready to play. All right, well, you're first. Okay, so I have three clank and two up here. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I'm going to add another clank with this card. I have two move and three, and three skill to buy something. All right, I'm going to move down. I move that room with one boot, move to that room with one boot. That's your crystal cave. If I had additional move boots to move, I would have to, I would lose it in that cave, but I could teleport. Now I have three skill. I definitely want to get more. Well, let me see what's available here. I'm not, I'm not even paying attention to these cards. So this one here, I get one clank if you have two or more clank this turn you get two uh, so if you place two or more clank you heal two here you get plus two clank but you draw two cards I can buy those now I don't want to repeat what I did last time and get so much clank I, I lose here see I'm having trouble with this is if you're in a market room teleport to an adjacent room well wait that's cost five cost five this one for two draw yeah. a card if you make two or more clank this turn, you get plus two by. And then this, you could defeat the skeleton. Okay, and then what's the six here? Uh, if you have a crown, teleport to an adjacent room. Wow, that would be w worth getting. And when you acquire it, what happens? Teleport to an adjacent room. Oh, wow. And what does this acquire here? Uh, you may put this on the top of your deck. And what, you get two gold. What else do you get? If you're in a market room, teleport to an adjacent room. Hmm. I think you read that one to me already, didn't you? I did. That's okay. Well, I'm going to show what happens when you get too much clank. Okay, so I'm going to buy this card. Smash and grab. It is worth two victory points at least. So that's a good thing. It's worth two victory points. Yeah. Okay. But every time I draw, I'm going to be adding clank, but I'll get two more cards. 
So that's what I bought for three. I'm done. Okay, let's see what the new card is. It's just a plain little card. Okay, so if it was a dragon, it would do the dragon attack. Mm -hmm. Just like the queen song, dragon attack. All right, All right, your turn. I have to add a clank. Okay, now you got to remember here to do this. Oh. Just use these cards. That way we can see what you got. I have to add a clank. Okay, go ahead. So there we go. And I have one move, so I'm going to jump down here. Okay, so you went into that room. And then I have one, two, three, four by. Yeah, four by. And I am actually going to. What's this new card? Read that, please. If you generate six or more by this turn, mark a way shrine as though you were there. Yeah, so that's a way for you to get more gold. But I'm actually going to. I have four by. I'm going to. So you're going to be able to move more and yeah. get more by. All right, your turn. Your turn's over. Yep. All right, now I'm going to be able to move here or here. I can't go this way because those are one-way arrows going the other way. Uh, now what I do have is one clank. So I'm going to add that. I have five clanks in yes, there. Yes, you do. And you have three. Yep. I have four by. I'm not moving. Ah. So it doesn't matter. The <laughs> Uh, I need to get more move. Then you better get that. Yeah. You know, since I'm, I'm going to be generating a lot of clank, mm -hmm. I'm going to get this person. Okay. Then I'll be able to heal. So it might be that that's a way for me to deal with. Uh, if I get two more clank, which since I'm I'm going to be generating a lot of clank, I'm going to buy it. All right. Okay. Reveal the next card. Scavenger. When you acquire this, you get to take a minor secret. Okay. Now I'm shuffling my deck. What are you going to do? Well, I have to add a clank. Okay, go ahead. So I'm gonna add a clank. Get rid and of by it. the way, you, you need to draw your five cards before you draw the next, before you replace the dungeon row, because you could have something to use to resist a ghost, for instance. So the, the turn order is that you draw the next five cards before you replace the dungeon room. I just haven't done it yet. All right, so. I get one movement. So I'm gonna join you in here. Okay, and you got three by. And then I have three by, and I'm going to. I actually think I'm going, well, look, I can take a minor secret. I'm gonna do this. Okay. She's acquiring the scavenger. Yep. So go ahead and draw a minor secret. And what'd you get? Go ahead and show it on your camera. Two. Right two attack. All right. Do you want to attack that skeleton? Uh, and it, or the goblin and get a gold? Or you want to? No, save I'm gonna it? save it. Okay, I would too. And I'm going to flip hey, up. You're supposed oh. to. Let's oh, show how flipped. we how we do things in order because I haven't been doing it the proper okay. way. Okay. Julie needs to draw her five cards first. So before, just give me one second here. Before she uh, reveals the dungeon row. Because, like I said, you might have a card that you can play to uh, that when a dra if a dragon attack occurs, she can stop it. Not, well. Nope, I can't stop anything. Okay, but the point is, that's how you're supposed to go. Now you refill the row, and what is that card? It says, trash this card. It's worth three to to pay. For, I mean, it's one to buy it. You get three. Yeah, so it's a one-use thing. Yeah. Okay, so here's my cards. Okay. I did not get any of my new ones. But you have two movements. But I didn't get any clank either. That's good. I got two clank. So I'm going to go down. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which path I do. I don't have to declare it right hand ahead of time. Now I could go down this way and take a damage and get a minor secret, but then I'll lose one of my movements. But I could see I could rotate it however I want. Let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna rotate it like that. Okay. I go one, two. Because I have those. And I get a minor secret. Nice. And this is a puzzle box. Oh. So a puzzle box, I'll show what it's what it does. It's a, it's a new minor secret. Keeps this token until you enter a way shrine. There, return the token to the box and take a major secret from the bank. Oh, very nice. So unless it could be useless to me if I don't get That's true. a way shrine. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, buy. What you gonna get? 
I need to get attack. Okay. That's a five, though, huh? Mm-hmm. I can get that and trash it once. Mm-hmm. What does that one do again? Uh, draw a card. If you make two or more clank this turn, you get plus two. Bye. Okay, I'm going to get this one. Okay. Because I'm, 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 I'm the one that's going to be generating a lot of clank. All righty. Okay, let me draw my cards first. All right. So the two I bought go in the discard. Move this over. So here's my discard area. Next to my draw area. Oops. Can't <laughs> really see it. Okay. So I discard those and I draw five more. Now this is just what I'm drawing in my hand. Okay, it doesn't mean I'm playing them again. So I did get some of those special cards. And I am generating a lot of clank, as I figured I would. Okay, okay you ready? Uh, hang on. Uh, let me go switch cameras. All right, go ahead. Okay, arrive. All players get plus one clank. Okay, and what is the creature? It's a skeleton priest. And if you defeat it, you get to heal one, but you also get plus one clank. I have six there and four there. We haven't we haven't been attacked yet. Not you have yet. five and six. I hopefully we can get some cards to remove clank before they go in the bag. Well, I'm gonna pass you up because I have two clank right here. Okay, add your two clank. Oh, brother. And then I get to move one. So I'm gonna go actually this way. Okay. Yeah, I kind of forced the tile how it goes, but Julie, Julie doesn't have to go the same way I'm going. And I have four by. You have four by. So I'm actually going to get one attack. I shall get two attack. Okay, that's probably pretty good. So now there's nothing to flip up here in the dungeon row, so we don't have to worry about a, a dragon attack. Now that's one strategy in the game is you don't buy anything to avoid dragon attacks. All I think of is a queen song. Yeah. Okay, so plus two clank. And this is how you do things when you get kind of complicated. Another clank. Wow. Wow, look at me. Oh my gosh. If you make two or more clank this turn, I heal too. Well, I'm not damaged, so <laughs> that's a bummer. Yeah. But I'm going to draw my two, I'm going to play this card first and get my two cards. Okay. I'm sure I'm going to get more clank. Yeah, yep. I did. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm adding uh, five clank. Holy Toledo Mosquito. Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, that's how much is going to go in the bag. This is why I lost the last time. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It's true. And look, I have no move. Oh my gosh. But I have one, two, three, five by. There you go. And I can get. This is five. Yeah, I want this one because right. it's going to give me gold too, which is points. Mm -hmm. And it gives me attack. Because I have no attack cards. So when I acquire it, you Wait. get rid of all your clank. No. You may put this on the top of your deck, which I will Very do. Nice. And it's worth one victory point in the upper right hand corner there. Very nice. So I put this on top of my deck, shuffling up all my cards, okay, because I have to draw five before I remove, show the next one. Okay, gosh, I have a lot of clank. Yes, you do. Here's my first card, and then I draw. Because I don't have more cards to draw, I have to shuffle before I draw four more. Okay. Good luck. Well. I don't have anything to resist anything. I just wanted to show their process. All right, reveal. Oh, did you get lucky? They defeat this, you get two gold plus one clank. So it's the same as this guy here. Okay, a lot of skeletons. All right, your turn. All right, well, I do not have to add any clank. Oh, go figure. But I get two boots, so I'm going to move. Make sure you're moving. Mm, there we go. Now you can rotate it. Now if you want to go into here into the crystal cave, you can pick that. I can go there. And get a minor secret and then go to the crystal cave. Yeah. So oh. I'm going to get a minor secret. Okay, so reveal it on your camera. And I got another lock. Okay, so let's switch that out right now. Yep. So that's good. That is good. Oh, excuse me, honey. And then I'm going to move one more time into here. So I stop. So you move into the crystal cave. And then okay. I have one, two, three, four, five by. And, and no attack. I'm going to actually get, I know I need attack. So I'm going to get one of these and one of these. Okay, more movement. Yep. All right, so you didn't buy anything from no, the dungeon roll, but you are destroying the dungeon roll. I know. With your what cards. else is new? <laughs> I'm good at destroying stuff. All right, I do have one move at least. And I do have four attack. Now I can use a lock and go this way. Uh, I am not going to do that. No? 
I'm going to use one of my... Uh, these guys are all one, two, and one. Correct. Okay, I can decide to attack them later. So I'm going to move one. I'm going to use one of my fight. Oh, by the way, if you're this says if you're on the market room, teleport to an adjacent room. That's really good. It is. Uh, I get two gold. Very good. Playing this card. And I didn't generate any clank. What a surprise. Oh. That's good, though. Okay, you know what? I am going to go there. I am going to use two fight. Okay. To go into there. So I used all this card. I go in here. I'm going to use uh, pick the lock. And get a... To get two prisoners. So I draw randomly. Over here is our prisoner pile. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Oh, I got this guy again. <laughs> okay, why did I say that? Because this guy, you gotta get, you gotta find way shrines, and he's only worth one points for every way shrine you visit. I might not visit any, so whatever. Uh, this guy, I bet you he heals me, and I'm not even damaged yet. Yep. But he's worth two victory. Let me look him up. I think that's like a cook or something. Uh, yeah, the, no, the cleric. He looked like a cook. He did. <laughs> Immediately heal one damage. Also worth two points. So that was a wasted. That draw. was a waste. Gosh darn it. Well, okay. at least I have them for victory points. That's right. For possible victory points. So I'm in this room. You still have two more attack. I need to... Well, I can't move anymore. Oh. So I will attack... Which one? The, these two are the same. This guy... He allows me you. to heal. It adds one clink. The oh, odd clink. I'm going to get more clink. All right. I'm going to attack both of these. I don't care. Oh, my gosh. And then we're going to get a dragon attack, just so that people can see. But you get four gold. I get four gold. So mm -hmm. here's the discard pile. I'm going to exchange it out for a five. Okay. So I have six gold, nice. which is good. I don't have any yet. I need to get some. And uh, I have one, two, three, four buy. Let's go for broke here. What else can I buy? <laughs> Trash this card. Well, I need to move more. Yes, you do. And I'm going to get this card, too. Okay. Kay. I bet you we'll get a dragon attack. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I have to wait for you to deal out your cards. Yeah, so here's my discard. I'm going to have to go like this because we're running out of space. One, yep. two, three, four, five. We're going to be... I'll put my stuff up here like this. So it looks like we're going down. Yep. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and here's my cards. I don't have anything... All right, you ready? That's going to help me in this draw. First card. Oh. oh I think I might nice. have to get that one. Next one. Another scavenger. Okay. Last one. Rotate. I'm going to arrive. Rotate each Can square tile. Can you show tile. it like this, please? Look, look. Put it like that and read it. Oh, it's hard to read up there, honey. Oh. Rotate each square tile with any players on it 180 degrees. Okay. I'm going to have to show you because the, the light was messing up. So just give it to me when it's something like this. Sure. All right, so now when it arrives, we each rotate a tile 180 degrees. So it has to be a square tile. Now you may be like, aren't they all squares? No, the starting tiles are rectangle. <laughs> so it doesn't really say that in the rules, but if you know your shapes, you can figure that out. <laughs> Good point. So you rotate it however you want. See, I can use an extra boot to go that way. Yeah. I'll just do that. Okay, you're next. Okay, I have no clank, thank goodness. I do have two movement, so I'm going to flip a tile. Okay, so this is the last of the safe tiles. It is. Yeah, you can rotate it however you want. I know, but I don't want to take damage. So if you want to get a miner, you can... No, but I want to take a damage. Okay, fine. So I'm going to go here. So you're not moving. And I'm going to do... No, I get another movement. Oh, you do? And two feet. Oh, okay, so now Julie's revealing a depth. Mm. Now here's a way shrine, way shrine, so if she goes in there, you can get a gold. And then there's an artifact, so we have to put an artifact on there. Okay. It's not a plus one or a plus two, so you just place the top one, which is a five right now. All right, so I am going to go in here and put my little thing on here, and how much gold do I get, honey? One. Okay. You get one because you've visited one way shrine. Okay. If this was your second one, yeah. you'd get... Two gold. I see. Okay, now what are you going to buy? Okay, so I have two, three, four, five. I'm going to get this guy. Which gives you two boots. What else do you do? And gives me two buy. 
Okay. And it's worth two points at the end. All right, very cool. All right, reveal. Uh, sh yeah. Hold draw on. your five cards. I am. Hold on. I'm a little slow, guys. Thanks for being patient. You're fine. I, th I take just as long as you do. My hands are shaking again. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, here we go. <gasps> no dragon. You get to draw a card. Wow. That's a good one for you, sweetie. If you have enough money. A four, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm adding more clank again. Oh, goodness sakes. Let's see here. Plus one clank. Plus two clank. Oh, my gosh. If you make two more clank, I heal too. <laughs> there I'm you not, done. But I'm not damaged yet. <laughs> but I do draw two cards here. Okay, good luck. Maybe get something good. Probably be another clank. But no movement. Oh, my gosh. And I draw a card with this one too. If you make two more clank, this turn plus two. Uh, bye. Okay. Plus two skill. But no movement. Oh, yeah. I guess I better buy some movement. Oh, my gosh. I'm stuck. Yes, you are. All right. So one, three, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I could get a tome right here. I think I'd rather get this one because it's very valuable. Okay. Acquire a teleport to an adjacent room. If I get a crown, which I can get... I'll be able to teleport more. So if you have if you have a crown, teleport to an adjacent room, but I, uh, which I'll buy one when I get to the market. There's a market up here, so mm -hmm. maybe I won't have to go this way. All right, so I acquired it. I'm going to teleport back this way because I'm going to get up, go up this way, okay. and I get a minor secret. Two gold. Very nice. Uh, that was six. I do have, what is it, three, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. I do have two left. I would like to move more, but screw it. I'll just get another attack. Okay. And look how much clank I have here. Oh this is a rare gosh. game when we <laughs> have this much sitting here and we haven't put that much in the bag yet. Yeah, it's true. It's coming, though. That's I can coming. feel it. I bet you it's coming now. Uh, well, let me... I have to Draw do your cards. cards first. You know, I don't get to move either. Yeah, well, you're looking ahead. I haven't seen your cards yet. That's fine that you're looking ahead. All right, so I, I draw my two. Now I shuffle my oh, deck. Oh, shuffle. Okay. Well, look, you got a movement finally. <laughs> yeah, I need to get more movement. I'm plugging up my deck with cards that don't allow me to move. So I remember I would get the magic carpet in the original set that allows me to move really far. Oh, that's right. See, I'm, not, I'm only moving one. Okay, you ready? Okay, I bet you we're gonna get attacked. Nope. Wow. What does Arrive. It say? Put three dragon cubes back in the bag. <laughs> well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. We haven't drawn any nope. yet. Nope. This is interesting. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Well, I'm actually going to attack the uh, goblin for twice. Okay, to get two two gold. To get two. Well, you haven't moved yet. You should... Actually, what I'm gonna doing? use this. I'm gonna defeat this, and I can oh, get okay. a movement. Oh, okay. What else so, do you get? You uh, just get a movement? Use a portal this, if you use a portal this turn to get another movement. Okay, we're well not using a portal. So well, get, I should get to move. So you, you, you do one attack? Yeah. Okay, you do that card, for instance. So I'm going to grab a card here. No, no, which way are you going? Tile. This way or this way? I'm going to go this way. Okay. Hmm. You sure you don't want to get an artifact? You're going to go to the crystal room? Yeah, I'm going to go... Because okay. I can move, and I'm going to unlock that. Okay, so hang on now. So you're using your second card. Yeah. So you this have one. one attack left. Right, which okay. is nothing. So because you had to go, you had to defeat this monster in the hallway. Right. And you're going to unlock and get a major secret. Okay, so let's go. Well, I get to heal. Camera. Well, you can keep it. You don't have to use it right away. Well, I have nothing to heal. So. All right, now what are you going to buy? And one, two, three, four. I'm getting this. Okay, more attack for you. And it gives me two points at the end. Okay, you're revealing two cards. I bet you we'll get a dragon attack now. Let me put my cards out. One, two, three, I'll shuffle four, here. five. Okay. Okay, here you go. Ready? First one. No dragon. Wow. Next one. A dragon. Okay, finally. All right. And I did it on mine. Yep, you get to do it. Now, there's no plus one draws, nope. so we're just, nobody has any artifacts yet or any no. dragon eggs. So you're putting this many cubes in. And you're putting in almost all your cubes. Yep. 
be very surprised if I don't pull out one of your cubes. Okay, go ahead and uh, draw. We draw three. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, oh wow. my you had, goodness you had less than sakes. me. Yeah, you drew two of your own. Here, give it to oh, me. Oh, sure. Gosh. That's pretty funny. Well, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have one move. I'm going here because I want to get up to the market. Okay. And I have... Oh, I have to add a clank. If you have a crown... Okay. I put the clank here. I have... Four by and three attack. I need to get more movement. I don't care what's out there. I, I got to stop looking. Although, what does this guy do? This one. Did you even do the arrive when it came up? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, but there was no dragon Use cues. two gold or trash up to two burgles from your nice. play area or discard pile. So burgles give you skill, but it also clogs up your deck because they're not that great. Yeah. Mm. It's up to you. Or you got this have, guy for three. I'm going to get a move. Okay. So I am done. Oh, I have three attack. forgot to do that. What are you going to do, though? This one has two, but you, you heal one and you get, but you do plus one clank. Yeah, that's okay. You want to do that? Yeah. So okay. this is what I do. I, I get this guy. Okay. I heal one. Mm hmm. But I add a clank. A clank. And. Uh, Goes in the discard. Yeah. And so go ahead and reveal the next card. We have to do your cards first. Yeah, you're right. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, go ahead. Okay. It's a dragon. Okay. So what a surprise. I'm adding more cling to the bag. I bet you I'm going to draw three of my own. Uh, maybe. Let's see. We'll see. Well, you know, there's a lot. We haven't drawn any black yet. No, we, we haven't. haven't drawn any of the dragon. And we're drawing three because that's where he's at. Oh, I only got hit once. I'm doing nice okay. Nice job. So I'm really pushing my luck you here. You really I? are. Okay. Okay. I have to Your put turn. in a clank. Let me put that over here so I don't have to worry about it. I have one movement. So I'm actually going to go up here. Okay, you get a minor secret. Yep. That's a one-way passage, which you're fine. I'm fine. I get two coins. So I'm up to three. Woohoo! And then I can attack the goblin for two, which I will do. You sure you don't want to get a, a, something on the dungeon row? Is there anything? There isn't that? anything I can get. Okay, by the way, you revealed that card. What did it? What did it say? This one, right? Yeah, it didn't say anything well, special. Well, we got to read it. Oh. Okay, so this guy appeared before Julie started her turn. If you defeat him, you get five gold. Or if you're in the market room, take a market item at no cost. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it four takes attack. Four attack. And I only have two. So I'm going to defeat the goblin okay, for another coin. Okay. And then I have two, three, four, five by. And I think I would like to... Go to the zoo? No. I want to get more... <laughs> I want to get more movement. And I want to get another attack. Place a card in the You have five by? Yeah. Wait. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. So I'll get this guy too. Well, we didn't even read this card before. Oh, sorry. So I want to show it. This card, you place a card in the dungeon row, and if it's when you replace it, if it has a dragon attack symbol, you ignore it. So this is nice. You can cycle things out, or you can get rid of things that you know somebody may want to buy. So I have to shuffle my cards before I reveal the next card. Yeah, well, I'm going to reveal it. Okay, go ahead. As yourself. We you don't have anything. I don't have anything. Oh, here comes the dragon attack. So let me show you what this card does. There's no arrive on it, but it's an imp familiar. Take a lockpick or spend a lockpick to draw two cards. This is nice. Mm -hmm. This is how you can get more lockpicks in the game. So I'm going to probably try You'll to You'll get that, that before me. Hopefully. Okay, so put Julie's one clank cube in there. We're still only drawing three, so go ahead. Oh, I'm drawing. Okay. It came up in your turn. Oh, you got hit again. I don't Goes know where right you're here. putting. Oh, thank you. Okay, you let me play some because you're moving the whole board. I know. I'm sorry. You guys know me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a little bull in a china <laughs> shop. Yeah, and knowing <clears throat> me, I'm type A about keeping everything. He's very. Area. You guys know he's type A, and I'm I'm just a little messy Marvin. Okay. <clears throat> I get one clank for this one. Okay. 
trash this card and I get three Ooh, buy. Nice. So this card will go away. Okay. I do have one move. Oh, good. Okay, Where are you going to go? go? Here. Uh, oh. I have two lock picks, but I want to go up there. So okay. I'm going to continue going. I want to get to that. I want to get that crown. So I'm continuing. And then you're going to go back down again? Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, okay. The point is it's part of the depths. Right. So I do go in there. It costs two, a two attack, which I have. Good. You get three gold. I get three gold. You know, just give me a five. Please. Oh, okay. Here you are, sir. Okay. So I got gold in that one. I'm done moving. I have my clank. And I have three. This is out of the game. I'm trashing it. So three, four, five, seven. Nice. Well, guess what I'm going to buy? You're going to buy this guy. Right? And Take a luck pick? No. No? I'm buying a tome. Oh, right, right. Because I may leave before you. You don't have a a, a big prize. I'm going to hopefully find one on the way to the market. Oh, okay. You see? All right. So I'm getting tomes, and I may decide to, to jet before you. All right. Well, I have two movements. No, hang on. Okay. Just real quick. Uh, one thing I didn't explain in the rules is that when somebody leaves and there's other people left in the game, unlike the original clank, where you have so many turns to get out, in this, you just draw four cubes uh, when your turn comes around. So if I get out, I don't play anymore, nothing, you know, I don't play any cards, I don't get cards. Even when clank's drawn, it doesn't affect me, I'm out of the dungeon, okay? I'm out of the catacombs. But I'll draw four clank cubes out of the bag while the other players were trying to get into a safe zone or get out of the catacombs. All right, so what are you doing? I have two movements, so I'd like to go here, but you have things there and I don't okay, want to mess your I stuff. Okay, I move stuff on. I know we would have to do this. Let's put it... Oh, oh see? see? I'm destructo. You're the little bull I'm now. I'm destructo now. <laughs> okay, so... You're going right here? Yeah. Uh-oh, a ghost. How do you want to rotate it? Mm, you want to go shoot. this way? Yeah, because I can go in the Wayfair. And you can even go on another one. Yeah. So I'm going to mm -hmm. move here. Okay, put your cube there. And I get two gold now? Yeah, you get two gold because you have one here too. Okay. Now we add a ghost to the clank area. My so brother. now we're going to start taking damage. Okay, and I have one more movement. You can use a lock or do two damage. I'm going to go here. Okay, so you're going to use your two fight, because you do have two fight. I do. You I have, have four, four fight. fight, actually. And then I'm going to put another thing there. So you get three gold now. So I take five. Yeah, you exchange, put two back. Two, thank you. So how much gold do you have now? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine gold. Okay. If you put <coughs> it up here, you can see it on camera. Okay. Why don't you look at the TV? You can see where th how things are. I'm busy concentrating. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I've done my two movement, and I use two, two of fight. those. Now remember, you have a, a potion that can give I you know. two more fight. And then I can get five. If you want to. Um, but you're done moving. I'm done moving. I'm actually going to, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, but I'm going to get this, because I can take a lock pick, or I can spend a lock pick to draw two cards. All right, so take them. So you I'm got four this. left. And I have four left. I am going to get this guy. Okay, to move. Yeah. Now you still have two fight left. Or I can I can move again. Okay, you want to move again and yeah. get that card? I'm going to get this card. Okay. So I'm going to move again. <gasps> uh, you can go there. Mm, okay, hang ahead. Mm, how do you want me to rotate it? I want like this. to. That's a portal. There's no other. The portal will send you back here. Yeah, I don't want to do a portal. You want to go to the get the, the major treasure? Yeah. Major secret. Major secret. Okay. No, actually, it's a minor secret. Oh, minor secret. Yeah. Okay. I have dragon egg, so it goes okay, up. Okay, he goes one, up one. And it gives so me three now, points at the end. She got a dragon egg, but we're still drawing three. But he's up. The dragon's more angry now. He's two, three, four. You, you, so I have two left. You have two by left. I'm not gonna get anything. Just this card. Hang on. You also have two fight. You want to kill? You want to kill this guy and get gold? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so spend your. 
And I get five gold. Right. Okay. And you still have four by. Do I? Because I bought that and I bought... No, that's not... Buy. That's two. Oh, yeah, you have two left. Four. Okay, you're two. done. I'm done. I don't want to buy anything okay. else. Okay. Yeah, that's hard to keep track of stuff. Yeah. I'll flip it up anyway just because it's you don't have anything that's going to I know, and you. I'm taking a really long time. Okay, no attack. No attack. No, if, you, if we had something... See, the reason why we're doing this... Uh, for the audience is because there are cards you can have in your hand that will resist ghost attacks and you can play it out of turn it's like it's like an interrupt yeah okay all right so here i go i have two clank another clank see it's working because if you make two or more clank this turn i, I heal two nice but i still have a, a ton in the bag out of my 30, look how much. Oh my god! I have like 20 in the bag. Yeah. Well, well, 20 if you include those. Okay, I draw two more cards. I get two gold. If you're in the market room, teleport to an adjacent room. Well, I'm trying to get there. I have only one move. Well, I am going to go this way. Okay. And I got, I want to whip around. Okay, there's a market and another market. Nice. And an artifact. Ha. <laughs> ha! Okay, so I go there. I use my two fight to avoid taking damage. I'm in the market, which means I can, I'm going to buy a crown. I get to 10 crown. Cost me seven. And then I want to teleport to an adjacent room. I'll go to this mark. Uh, if I go to this one, I can buy something again if I want. No, you don't go there. That's not the teleport. If you're in the market room, you teleport to an adjacent oh, room. Oh, excuse me. So it's good. Thank you. So yeah. I, I'm going to go to that one because it gives me choice if I want to get the if I want to teleport to the monkey idol if I get this card again. Uh, so I'm done moving and attacking. I have one, two, three, five, six. What did we get that was new? This? Yeah. This? And this. Okay, so I want to show them on camera. Okay. So this one costs two. Gives me a movement. If you gain at least three gold this turn, draw a card. Okay. Black market. Use. Choose two. Two gold or trash a card in your player or discard pile or take a lock pick. So it's five, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, choose two. Huh. Okay. And then this one. Trash a burgle in your play area or discard pile. Shadow walk. I'm going to do this one. Okay. I'm going to trash and get two gold. Nice. So I'm going to put these back. So I use this. I'm trashing. Uh, you don't get to do it a yet, stumble. do you? Yeah. Oh. It's a device. You use it right away. Oh, okay. I trash that and I get two gold. Nice. Uh, I could get a lock pick instead. I'll get a lock pick instead. Okay. Okay. And I'm done. Did you replace the card? Go ahead. Okay. Oops. It's just, we're going to read it. Go ahead it and read it. It says, if you're in a crystal cave minus two clank, when you acquire this, you can put this on top of your deck. Okay. But no dragon attack. No dragon attack. All right. I have plus one clank that here. I have two movement. So I'm gonna... mm. Where are you going? You're right here. I know. Oh, you're going all the way there? I don't know. You can heal and then you lose yeah. your movement though. It's all right. I'll go there and heal. And then I can attack this little goblin for one. Okay. And then I have one, two, three, four, five by. 
And I'm going to get more movement, huh? Yeah. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> You're replacing your deck. Go ahead and reveal the card because we have nothing to resist. All right. So this is a new one. Why don't you read it real quick? It says, if you're on a haunted tile, you may teleport to any room on a different haunted tile. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We haven't gotten that card before. All right. I don't, ha I don't have any clank, but I have a lot of movement. Good. I draw a card. If you make two or more clank this turn, I get some uh, skill. Well, I'm moving really fast. Unfortunately, I'm going into a room that's a crystal room. And I can't teleport first. And I can't go here, because I'm thinking, I guess I'm going to lose all my movement. All right, I'm taking Artifact, push up the uh, the dragon, make okay. him more angry. Unfortunately, I, I had two more movement left, but I lose it all. And now I have nothing for this, because I didn't generate any clank. One, three, four, six. Now I'm looking for things that are worth points. What's that say? Take a what? Uh, take a minor secret. And this one allows me to do what? To use. You get either two coins or trash up to two burgle, burgles from each from your play area or discard pile. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Okay. I have how many? Three, six. And I'll take this one, too. All right. Uh, so let me think about this here. Thieves Shrine. Trash up the two burgles from each of your play area. Or discard pile. All right, I'm getting rid of these burgles. And these go on my discard pile. All right, so go ahead and reveal. No dragon. And he arrives? Nope. All right, read those two cards, please. Choose one or all three if you have an artifact. Minus two clank or one gold, or you don't have to stop in crystal caves this turn. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. This one's minus two clank. That's good, too. And when all you right. acquire it, you get a attack. Okay, so what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to move. You're going to go up? Yep. So I'm going to move the draw pile. It's going to be off. I'll put it. I think I'm going to move up. You're going to go up, right? Yeah. Oh, look. If you can rotate this like this, you can get to that artifact. Okay. And so I assume you want to get to one that's two down. Yes. So you get to place to 15. Nice. No, it's two down. That means you... It's two below. Yes, that's how it works. Okay, and I have one movement. Now, you're going... You're going to get two attacks. No, I have... I'm you have protected. enough to resist it. Yep. Okay. And so I'm done. So now, oh, I can replace a card in the dungeon row. Okay, if you want to get rid of something. What would I want to get rid of? You don't have to. Does it say you may? It no, says it says replace. replace. So you must. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one. Actually, no, because that might be good. I might get that. So I'm going to get rid of this one because it's worth two. All right, and then new card has a dragon on it. Ignore the symbol. Oh, are you lucky, mister? <laughs> but I'm actually going to... I'm going to get this one so I don't have to stop in Crystal Caves, just yeah, in case. Yeah, that's a good idea. So that's, I say, one, two, three, four, bye. So that's, I have three left. And I'm going to get this so I can take a minor secret. And then I'm done. That's a really good card for only one. I know. So I'm going to get a minor secret. I get two more gold. Okay. Now, uh, reveal the next two cards. Okay. Oh, it's a dragon. Okay. Well, a ghost is now going to be in the bag. Yeah. And, of course, more of my cubes. And right now, the dra you're going to be drawing four now. Yeah. Because you've, we've gotten a dra I've gotten an artifact, and you've gotten a dragon egg. So we're going to draw four. Okay, can you put it here instead? Because see, you moved the board again. Sorry. That's what I asked you not to do. Okay. 
So we got resist. two dragons, <laughs> one for David and one for Julie. Yeah, and I should be getting, and if I want to, sh I'll show you what's in the bag here. I'm getting very lucky. Getting very, very lucky. Here, look how much is red. That should be getting a lot more. Julie's not getting lucky with her draw. No. All right, my turn. Two clank, one clank. If you make two or more clanks this turn, I heal two, so I at least heal one. That's why I set up so my deck lucky. like this. Two gold. If you're in the market room, teleport to an adjacent room. I think I'm going to go back and teleport to the monkey. Uh, I have no movement, so I, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Had all these great plans. Uh, that sucks. That because I could have teleported. Oh no, I draw two cards, so I might get a movement. Yeah, yeah, I got a movement. So I move here. I use one attack to avoid taking a damage. I, I do play this card to uh, move to an adjacent room. I will go to the monkey idol. But you know what though? If I do that, cause I really want to get out. I'd just be going back and forth. You know what? I am going to go there. I teleport there because it's a one way I can ignore that. I get a monkey idol. I am going to... Oh, before I left, I'm going to buy something. I will buy the, uh, the other crown for nine. Okay. So I'm done moving. I have three attack, uh, three fight left. I'll get the goblin once and get a gold. And I have two, three, four, five, six by. Oh no, I could have killed this crystal kobold. Fight this only in a crystal. Oh, okay, can't do it anyway. This is how much? Six? I will get this. Since I'm the clank master, I don't care how much clank I, I generate. Uh, plus two clank, getting this. And I'm done. Did we get a card? Plus one clank. If you have freed three or more prisoners, you may trash this card. And if you acquire it, you get to free a prisoner. Okay. okay. You know, when I went here, was I supposed to do something? Because there's a... Uh... You could have. Did you want to un un uh, pick it? And we can go back. You could have picked it and got a, a major secret. Yeah, why not? Well, you can do it right now before you leave the room. All right. So you're doing it at the beginning of your turn. I get five gold. So there you go. Okay, I have to put in a clank. Okay. Put that over here. Um, I get to draw a card, so I have to shuffle. So when Julie shuffles, you can give it to me next time, and I'll shuffle for you. Sweetie. Okay. I know okay. it takes a long time. No, for it's me. all right. I do it a silly way. No, no, you do it the way that you can. Draw a card. Oh, that's, okay. That's actually the way you shuffle. That's actually allowed in Magic oh. uh, Gathering tournaments, just so you know. Look at this. Choose one or all three if I have an artifact. I don't have the artifact yet. Yeah. So I can either do... But you're going to get an artifact before you play that card. So once you move into that room... Okay, because I have two things. So I don't get hurt. Okay, so the point is, now you have an artifact, so you can use that card. I can choose all three. So I can minus two clank. So I'll okay, take... hang on. We're forgetting steps here. The dragon moves up because now we both have an artifact. Right. Okay, now you can use that card. Minus two clank or one or if you don't, you don't have to stop in Crystal Caves this turn. Can you move back? Uh, yeah. But it doesn't matter. You, you don't have, I mean, you can move back. Yeah, it's not a big deal. But then you take two damage moving back. So I'm going to do, take my clank back. Okay, well, at least you get one back. And... I will also get a coin. And then I have two, four, six. Now, do you want to move back on the map and take two damage? Um, or you can go back, this way yeah. and use a lock. I don't yeah. have any more movement, honey. You were, where were you? Right here. Yeah. That's one movement. Oh, okay. Get, you you got to pick, pay a lock, though, and you can at least heal. Yeah, I'll do that. 
Okay. And then two, four, six. What do you want to um, I'll do this. What do you get when you get them? Anything? And I acquired, I may put this on the top of my deck. Okay, that's three. You still have three more by. So it goes on top of your deck. Um, I'll do this so I have more movement. Okay. Well, if you get this, you get a movement too. Yeah, but it's plus clank. But you take a prisoner. Yeah, but the prisoners aren't very good. Okay, you get, you're trying All to right, get All right, fine. Points. I'll try it. I would do it. I'll try it. Okay, take your prisoner. I got... Okay, put it on your funny camera, looking guy. Show your camera. Okay, so that's uh, the peasant. That peasant. He's just simply worth two points into the game. So if you hadn't done that, so when you did you so when you play that card, you're going to get clanked. But you're trying to get points here to win. You're going to be moving. You already got your artifact, right? Yeah. Did you get a clank when you acquired it? It says plus yeah. one. No, it's right? only when you play it. Oh, you, oh, okay. Okay, I'm clean. It's only when you play it, yeah. All right. So now I have to flip up a card. But you did get a free prisoner when you acquired right. it. Right. And I have to flip another. We have six cards, right? Correct. Okay, so read those two cards, please. Okay, if you generate six or more uh, by this turn, you get, you get to heal. And this lady, draw a card for each artifact you have. Okay, that's nice. All yep. right, you're ready. I'm ready for the next okay, one. I generate a clink. So we're both trying to get out now. Yep. Uh, if you have a crown, you can teleport to an adjacent room. Too bad I can't teleport to here and get out. Mm -hmm. Let's say I get to move. I'm going to go that way. I have four by. Now what can I get that gives me points since I'm on the way out? I have one attack, but I can't get anything four by it's worth one what does this guy do the rebel paladin if you have another companion in your play area draw a card if you have an artifact draw a card that's cool yeah I will get him okay uh, go ahead and draw if you have another companion in your play area draw a card okay your turn. Well, I'm in the crystal clay cave. Minus two clank. I don't have any clank in there. Yeah, you I have only no have one right movement. So I go here, but I don't take a damage because I have. Now I would use that. a lock and get uh, two prisoners. Is that one prisoner? Yeah, two prisoners. Unless you need to save your locks. I don't know. I'm trying to think how I'm going to get out. I have to go this way and then go up like that. So you don't need any locks on the way no, there. So I'm good. I'll get two prisoners. But it's going to take you a while. I know. Let's see what you got. Okay, so Julie got this guy. Uh, it's worth three, but I bet you we move the dragon up. And this one, is that minus something? Minus five. Oh, did you just get... I, don't, I guess there are things that can hurt you. So let's look at that the adventurer. All right. Immediately advance the dragon marker one space in the raid track. Also worth three points at the end of the game. Now, what was that? A discount coupon. Oh, okay. Discount coupon. So it is good. You may use this token one time while buying an item from the market to pay five less. It is not a prisoner for any purpose, such as right. Okay, so it's just a discount coupon. All right. So now we're going to be drawing five. Five. Now, how much buy do you have? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, go to your camera. I'll get this lady. Well, you should get things that are worth points. I know too. she's worth two. Okay. What does she do? Read it, please. Draw a card for each artifact you have. And I have one artifact. So I can draw an extra card. And it gives me one boot and two buy. All right, reveal the next card, please. Librarian, minus two clank. If you have a secret tome in your play area or discard pile, draw two cards. Okay. 
Here I go. If you have a crown, teleport. I got that card back. You can draw a card if you make two more clank. I didn't make any clank. Nice. And I'm not moving again. Ah. But I did have the teleport at least. But I'm not generating any clank. If you're in the market, I am. I get two. Teleport to an adjacent room. Okay, teleport. If you have a crown, teleport to an adjacent room. So at least I have teleporting. Mm -hmm. Oh, I draw a card. I do. I guess I do have a move. So hang on. I move. I forgot to draw that card first. I move here first, teleport, and then teleport. I can go again. I guess it doesn't matter because it's a it's a one way either way. So I guess it didn't matter that I went out of order. Uh, I have five attack. Anything for me to attack besides? Yeah, there's this guy. I am in a crystal cave. There you go. Okay. So fight this only in the crystal cave or way shrine. I defeat, get two, buy. Okay, I'll just keep it there for a minute. Two buy, and I'll, I'll get the goblin ones for another. So I have two. Four. Six plus that, eight. I'm going to get a tome. Oh, this goes in the discard pile. Okay, go ahead and flip up the next card, please. Plus two clank, draw two cards. All right, your turn. Okay, I put a clank in. I move two, so I'm gonna just move here. And heal. And heal. And then I waste my other, but that's okay. Two, four, five, six. Um, Is there anything where you draw cards? Did you read everything? If you have another companion player, you draw a card, I'll get this. And that's it, I don't want any more cards. Oh, dragon. Okay. So I'm adding more of my cubes. If I don't get hit three times, I'll be amazed. Because we're drawing mm -hmm. five. Is there any plus ones? Uh, nope. Okay, you get to draw five. And put them right here, please. Yes. Wow, you still got hit. So though, did you. Yeah, I know, but... That's not really hurting me. No, it's not. All right, so my turn. So my combination's working. I have two clank, draw two cards. One clank, one clank, if you if you make two or more clank, heal two. So I, I just healed. So getting that person allows you to recycle your clank back, your health. I have two move, so I am gonna exit, but before I exit, uh, I am going to attack. I'll attack this guy. Defeat three gold. And I get three buy. Oh, I generate three clank. Doesn't matter because I'm leaving. Uh, so I have three. Three, five, six, seven, eight. I'll get another tome. If you get, or this one, if you gain at least three coins this turn, draw a card. I did not. All right, so now I'm done. I will be drawing three clank now every turn. So I'm done. Uh, that is four. Yeah, four. Yeah, I draw four. And so now Julie has to try to get out. Now here's the thing. Julie just has to get to the safe area. Oh, I get this bonus 20 because I got out. Julie just has to get to the safe area and she'll be able to count her points. But if she gets to here, she'll get that bonus 20. So what are you going to do? You have how much movement? I have three. So I've already been planning this out. I'm okay. going to go one. You can go there. Two. Two. Three. And you get a minor secret. So now you're safe. Yep. You will be getting your points. Right. So that's a, that. a puzzle box. You get, if you go to a way sh shrine, you get a major secret. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to get to one. By the way, you do have healing if you need it. So you're not going to. I'm gonna not going to die. Okay. I can take a lockpick or spin. So I'm going to take a lockpick okay. just in case. And then trash a burger. Here, I'll help you. Thank in you my more. play area. Or in your play area. Or discard pile. Okay, I'm sure you do have one. So you're going to discard that one on your discard. Yeah, and then I yeah. have one, two, four buy. I'm not going to buy anything. 
But there's worth points, honey. You need points to compete with me. Because <sighs> unless she's worried about the oh, you're not. You see, look, you have so many cubes. Here, right, I'm gonna yeah. move. This will give me movement. Yeah. My point is, you have so many cubes not in the bag. You're not gonna get hit. Arrive. Rotate each square tile with any player on 180 degrees. Gosh right. damn it. No, it could be good though because you can rotate it here. Watch. You'll be able to get get out sooner. Just rotate like that. All right. See? Yeah. That's all. Okay. All right, so now I draw a four. It's probably not going to hurt you. You can tell that it's getting past my time of playing. I'm getting okay. kind of cranky. So I would have taken two hit. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I got to put my cubes in because it... it You're not going to die. No, but the point is it helps you. If I, it, it, oh, increases, yeah. it increases the odds that I won't draw yours. But I did anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I have no movement. Okay. Well, I'm going to put a clink in. And I'll kill the thing for one. How Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to do this. I'm going to defeat and move Okay. right here. And one, two, three, four. I'm not getting anything. You need to get points to be competitive. Oh, sweetie. fine. I'll get this. Okay. Now draw two cards. What happens All in your players life? get plus one clank. Okay. All right, now I draw four. Did you want to shuffle my cards for me? I will in a second. See, I got hit. I would have gotten hit three times. This is why it would have been good for you to get out first. It's okay. I'm just tired. I'm ready to be done. I know. You've, this has been a long game. Well, it does take 60 to 90 minutes. With the, exclama uh, the explanation, it is almost 90 minutes. It's about 60 without the explanation. I'm fading. Yes. Two. That's why I'm helping you. Three. Four. Five. I just move. You move three. So, hang on. Uh, do, you have the, do you have the card that allows you to move through crystal caves? No, I don't. All right, so you get up there. You have two attack. Get a gold. Or you want to attack that, that skeleton? Sure, why not? What do you get with it? I get to heal one, but then I do plus one clank. I would just take the gold and get the goblin. That's fine. That's what I'll do. Yeah, because that's worth one point. And then I only have two, four, five, six by. Um, sorry, I know I'm destroying stuff. It's okay, you're tired. What do you want to get? Um, that's worth points. You can heal that one if you get that guy. Or no, how, how much is that one worth? Two. Okay. I said I'm done. Okay, reveal a card. It's a dragon. Okay. Draw five. You get hit once, but see, you're not going to die. Mm -mm. I mean, you don't get, you're still going to get out. Uh, so now, how much movement do you have? I only have one, but if I'm in a crystal clay, I minus two clank, and I had only one clank, so I don't put anything in. I get to draw a card. Wait, wait, how much clank? You're going too fast. How much clank gets removed? If I'm in a crystal cave, minus two clank. All right, but here, that means you, you take one off the top. Okay, because I have plus one clank. Yes. And you move into this room here. Why are you drawing cards? Because it says draw a card. Okay. Take a lock pick or spin to a lock pick to draw two cards. I'm going to spin to lock pick to draw two cards. Yeah. I get to move again. Okay, so you have five attack. Uh, you can attack the, the, the goblin twice. Did you move me again? Well, you're going to get out. You get the bonus 20. Yeah. What can you buy? How much buy do you have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna get okay, you get a two. All right, so the game's over. We both got out. Thank God. <laughs> well, it did take a long time. You're going to have to add my stuff. Yeah, my I'm brain help is you. too tired. Okay, so I'll do mine first. All right. Uh, this monk isn't worth anything for me. So we'd like to put things in 20s or 10s. So the, remember that each gold is worth an additional one. The leftover lockpicks are worth nothing. So this is, I'm going to put in piles of 10, I mean 20. 7, 12... 
Here's another 20. Now I've got to go through my cards here. And there's going to be special cards. Do you want me to help you or not? Because it seems like... I'm doing like, this part okay. Okay. Seems like you're doing stuff I'm just there. moving, making okay. it easier for you to count my money. Okay. That's, That's good. all I'm doing. That's it. Everything else is all on you. Okay. So... Do I have anything special here where you need this or that to get additional points? I'm looking at that right now. No. Okay. Oh, why was that in there? Mm -hmm. I used it. If I would have drew it, I would have figured that out. Okay. So 7, 14... 16, 18, 20, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. That's wow. About what, that's about what we got the first time I played. Uh, now we're going to do yours. I'm not close. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to move Which these. Which is okay. I'm just going to move these to get. Sure. To get points here. To be honest, to add it up. These are. Nothing on here? Oh, this was to make... Okay, so I'm stop. sorry. Okay, so I thought that's how you were helping me. No, I'm sorry. I was doing the money and making it easier for me. Oh, that's money. okay. Oops. You got more points than you thought, sweetie. Mm. Now I'm looking at these cards, see if there's anything on that says if you have this, you get points. I'm just looking at the description here. Oh, yeah. If you freed three or more prisoners, you may trash a card. Okay. And I put all this over here. Okay, stop, please. Uh, so this, you didn't use it. Don't worry about that. It's 15. There's 20, right here. I think you're gonna be closer than you think because mm -hmm. you got that good artifact. Another 20. Another 20, so right now you already have 60. Oh. This is 70. Wow. Let me see if there's anything special here where you get more extra points. Okay, so nothing special on these cards. Okay. So 13, oh, three, four. Oh. Okay, look, you're already 80. If wow. You have, if you have more than 15 here, you're going to beat me. Wow. So it's closer than you thought. Yeah, I okay. didn't think it was that good. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, wow. Looks like you wow. only lost by one. Let me just make sure. Oh my gosh. Let me make sure, and I'll count up mine again too. That's five, 10, 20, 20. That's 20, just making sure, 20. I'll do in tens here, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then 14. So did you actually lose by one? I'm going to count up mine again. 20, 20. This is so close, you should. That's 9, 10, 15, 20. Make sure there's nothing. Why don't you look at those cards make sure there's nothing on them? Sure. Okay, 20. 14, 15, 20, 12, yeah, 95 to 94. Did you wow. find anything? No, nothing. You're only one gold away. Oh my gosh, that's cool. I did not think I was doing that well. Now, obviously you could have stayed a little bit more time in there and got more points. You probably could have done that. That's okay. But we were tired and you wanted to... You, I'm very tired. But Julie could have just stayed here. Because think about this here. 
So this could be an issue with the game. Because there is no time limit now. You could have kept on, you could have stayed in there forever. Because look, you weren't going to die. Well, the bag, the bag would have run out eventually. Yeah. So I guess that is a time limit. But at some point, you would have had one, you would have had plenty of turns to get more stuff. Look at that. Yeah. You probably could have stayed in another six turns. That's okay. But it's not something to keep in mind for balancing purposes. I honestly didn't remember how many was in there, so... Right. Well, you could have counted your cubes over here. Okay. It, I'm telling you right now, there's so much going on <laughs> that that's the last thing I'm going to be doing is... It's just trying to get balance these cards, not worry about the cubes. Well, the point is this. You weren't that damaged. No. So in a future game, it might have been better for you to stay a little bit longer and get more cards. And then maybe I wouldn't have left. I could have just stayed right here. Yeah. And then try to get more stuff until I got down. So the game, now that we know that that can happen, the game probably would have continued maybe four more turns and we would have acquired more cards. But then I would acquire more cards and you would have acquired more right. cards. In any case, that's Clank Catacombs. And you can see Julie's tired. I'm very tired. Yeah. She can only handle 90 minutes is her limit. Thank you so much for playing <laughs> yeah. along with us, you guys. We hope you had fun and makes you liked it so much you're going to go out and do it yourself. All right. Take care. Take care, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye.